Hey y'all, it's Charlie. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, I am a Boston-based flight attendant for a major U.S. airline. And if you're not new here, <laughs> long time no see. I have not posted a video on YouTube in over a month, maybe two months at this point. I took a little break just because. And then during my just because break, I was vlogging um, 8 day 6. So I had six 8 days in a row. Those are just my access days as a flight attendant where I have to work on call six days in a row. Um, I think day four, day three was Thanksgiving. And then on day five, my father passed away. That's pretty much the biggest life update. That's why I haven't been uploading. If you follow me on Instagram, you pretty much know all of this and thank you. And if you've been paying attention to my like community posts, which I know all of, all of you can't, can't possibly see those, um, then you would know that as well. But yeah, that was just, um, why I've been gone. <laughs> so a couple of days ago I sat down and I filmed this video and it was really long and I didn't realize how long it was. I thought maybe a 15 minute video. I was gonna upload it yesterday because today is January 2nd of 2023 so happy new year. I was gonna upload it yesterday on New Year's Day. As I was editing the video I realized this isn't for everyone to see. It was over an hour long and I was crying. I was telling all of my personal family business. It was just one long therapy session. <laughs> because I still haven't started grief therapy. So I wanted to do this quick little video giving you an update on what's happened and not really a video about losing my dad like the last one was. Just a life update and like what's coming to my channel next and telling you that I am back and stuff like that. Just to go ahead and give you a quick run through. On November 28th, 2022, my dad was driving home from work and he had a massive heart attack. So my father either passed away from a massive heart attack or from the car crash which resulted from the massive heart attack. Like I said, he was driving. Um, we are still waiting for those autopsy results. It's taking a very long time, especially with the holidays and everything. But yeah, I've mentioned my dad on this channel before. I've, he's actually been in a couple of videos. He, I don't really talk about my YouTube channel with my family or anybody I actually know in real life. So yeah, it's like a running joke that we don't talk about it. But yeah, he's been on my channel before, especially like a video when I was moving to my college dorm and stuff like that. And he was in my graduation video. But yeah, that's not what this is about. I don't want to do that video again. So the video I sat down, it was really long, really emotional. I talked about who my father was as a person, who he was to me, other people, the whole process of how I was struggling and everything. And I realized, yeah, this is therapy. <laughs> this is not what you guys came to see. And I thought it was going to be a 15 minute video. And I looked at all the footage and it was an over an hour long. So yeah, just gonna keep that in the archives. But ultimately that is why I was gone. Thank you for all the love, support, and prayers that you guys sent me. I really do appreciate it. I had some negative comments. I had someone to literally tell me to get over it. So um, <laughs> that was a bit shocking to the system. But all in all, I've had amazing, amazing support coming from you guys. So I really, really appreciate that. So that is why I was gone. My, my dad passed away. Um, not only was I dealing with the fact that he passed away, me and my older brother are very close in age. We're within a year of each other, but I am more outspoken, more outgoing. And I don't know if it's the fact that I'm a girl, but everyone was coming to me to make the decision. So I had to plan my whole father's funeral, the wake, all the things that was going on in life, all of his assets, all of that, all his business plans and all that, that fell on me. And I think that also prolonged my grieving because I didn't really get to grieve because I was planning a funeral. So yeah, that also goes along with how long I was gone. I do want to say that I tried to return to work really quick. I would say included from the day that I found out that my dad passed away, I was only gone from work two weeks, which is pretty fast. My company was absolutely amazing. They, they, I didn't have to go back to work. I thought it would help and I didn't realize until I was actually on that first trip, which I vlogged for you guys, um, did not finish it. Um, my first trip back since my father passed and I guess that might be the video you see next. But it didn't, it didn't, <laughs> it didn't work out. Um, I started vlogging it and I was a hot emotional mess and just stopped. But I, I guess I'll still post it for you guys if you want to see it. Um, I was actually in Paris, so that's exciting. I know it's my favorite place in the world. And I think that's another reason why I decided to go on that trip. It's like, it's my first day back at work and I'm in my favorite city. Like, maybe this is exactly what I needed. I don't know. But yeah, I'll try to post that video. But... I returned back to work. I mean, even before I went back to work, when I first found out my 
managers were so amazing. They put me on a flight to Atlanta. They walked me to my flight. They picked me up on the tarmac and drove me to the parking lot to meet my cousin who was picking me up to drive me to the rest of the way to Alabama. They did the exact same thing for my older brother. It was just like, my company has been amazing. They sent flowers to the funeral home. Like, my airline has been absolutely amazing throughout this. So thank you, my airline, for just being amazing. Um, but yeah, I don't really wanna to talk too much about that, but um, I was dealing with a lot. I'm still dealing with a lot. Um, and it's just not something I'm just gonna get over. So to the person who commented that, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I just, ugh, no negativity this year. I'm not going to highlight bad comments this year. I'm only gonna highlight good comments this year. So this is a message that I actually got and this will be the comment of the video. I said I was gonna start doing this and then I never uploaded the vlogs because um, of everything that happened. So all those, all those videos that I did comment on the video are never gonna get seen. So this is my official first comment of the video because I absolutely love it. It's actually the screensaver on my phone. Next, I get off of probation for my airline in four days. Okay, I'm back. My camera battery died. So on January the 5th, I get off of probation with my airline and I don't exactly know what that means for my videos. Please ignore my nails. Um, other than the fact I'm going to be able to show y'all a little more. I'm not going to go so hard in making sure I'm not shown in uniform anymore. I'm just, I really need to do more research into my airline's guidelines. I might even talk to my FSM about it, talk to some more flight attendant YouTubers, which I've been doing a lot here lately. And thank y'all so much for your support. But I just really don't want to get fired, first off. And I just want to be able to help y'all and show y'all, but in a way that does not compromise my job. And I'm sure y'all understand that. Um, I am gonna be able to show y'all more on the plane. Just, I'm not gonna be recording anything while there are passengers on the plane that just takes away from me doing my job. And I don't want my company to think that I'm not taking care of business, that I'm not doing my job. But I am really excited to be able to show y'all a little more. I think I have the format of how I want my videos to go now a little bit better. And I'm thinking about getting a new camera and just like updating the quality and everything. And I'm really excited to jump back into vlogging. So that's the channel update. I do have an announcement on January 24th that I cannot wait for you guys to hear. That's actually my dad's birthday. So that's when I chose it to be on that date. I am very excited and I did not get to do vlogmas this year due to my dad's passing right before Christmas. I was literally <laughs> buying the Christmas supplies for vlogmas day one with me decorating my apartment and I got the phone call that my dad was in a car accident. So yeah, vlogmas definitely didn't happen. Um, but I do plan on doing a flight attendant in February. So I'm gonna vlog every single day in February or I'm gonna upload a video every single day in February. I did not get to do vlogmas this year and vlogmas last year or 2021 was a complete fail. So I'm really excited to try to do that for you guys, especially since I'll be off probation. I'm in a better mood. I'm not, depressed <laughs> i'm not just like swimming in grief anymore i'm learning to live with it and honestly i've made a lot of life changes here recently and i'm just really inspired to share that with you guys um but yeah i think that's all i have to say i think that's all the update that i want to give right now um why i've been gone i'm back i'm gonna be posting more i'm gonna be posting on instagram more um, I'm going to be non revving more, enjoying my benefits, because that's one thing I regretted from my last airline that I haven't really worked on at this airline other than getting me like to drill. And I go to see my friends and stuff, but I don't really vlog that. I really want to show you guys my trips that I take when I'm not vlogging or at work. I have a huge, huge project coming up that I cannot wait to announce to you guys. But that's not the same one from January 24th. But you guys, your girl's making moves out here. I don't even know what hint I can give y'all, but... I would love to know if you guys could guess what these two announcements are. Huge changes in my life. And yeah. Just let me know what you guys think they are. But thank you so much for clicking on this video. Thanks for all your um, support and love and all the sweet comments and messages. And I have over 200 messages on Instagram. And there's no way I'm going to get through all of them. But congratulations for everyone who's got their CJOs, their interviews, all that good stuff. Your girl's back. I am really really excited to be back on youtube and on social media and yeah happy new year